my name is Jennifer. I'm here at the Zola Townhouse with Connie. Hi, I'm Connie. I'm the resident dinnerware guru. Welcome. I'm Zola's newlywed at large, and today we are having a little happy hour with spicy, truly spicy. We will leave the recipe um, for you guys on the blog, maybe. But um, we are talking about dinnerware. So dinnerware is probably the most popular category on Zola, and a lot of people don't know what to register for. Some people don't cook, some people don't entertain, and so oftentimes they're kind of curious, like, is this even a category that I should be registering for, or how many sets? Definitely like register. Dinnerware is something that you use every day because you have to eat, and it's great for entertaining, it's great for casual everyday use, so we'll walk you through all the different types of dinnerware and how you can mix and match and make it look cool. Yes, Connie is the guru. So basically, we're in our townhouse right now, which is in New York City. So for those of you who are in New York, please visit us. And if you are coming in, please stop by, say hi. And you can kind of go through with one of our registry advisors or with Connie, our, our true dinnerware expert, how to register for dinnerware. So first, we're going to talk about, this is a big topic among a lot of people. Because we live in New York, so we have small spaces, but other people across the country probably have more room and more storage. Mm -hmm. So how many place settings should you register for? Great question. You should register for around 12 place settings. That way you have enough for you, your new spouse, a few guests, and then a few extra in case you need it or in case you don't want to run the dishwasher. Um, so I would recommend around 12 place settings. Uh, yes, that is a big thing is no one wants to do the dishes, so register for more and then you'll never run out. Um, one thing that Connie and I have talked about is that this set, which is my favorite set on Zola, this is our Camatone Doble set. That's right. It's a beautiful hand-painted gilded luxe gold dinnerware set. But it's also really classic, so I love that it's white so you can kind of mix and match with other things and it kind of dresses up your table. But this is actually the set that I registered for for my wedding and I found it on Zola and that's how I joined the company, all thanks to this dinnerware set. So thank that's you great. Canvas and thank you Zola for giving me a job. So Zola is the exclusive <laughs> registry where you can register for this beautiful Canvas Doville dinnerware collection. Oh, cheers to that Connie. That's right. Um, so how many pieces come in a set? So we're seeing kind of different examples. Maybe you can walk us through sort of more formal sets, more right. casual sets, and then what should you register for? Because sometimes you can register for things that come in a full set, mm -hmm. and other times you're registering for individual pieces, so it's kind of up to you. Um, but it is helpful to know like what makes a set. Great question. So I'm just gonna sip while you show. Sip and show. <laughs> so in a dinnerware suite or a dinnerware place setting, you have your dinner plate, your salad plate, a canapé plate, and teacup and saucer. So that's something that you can get in a set. There are also options to just buy dinner plates and right. just buy salad plates. You can mix and match if you want. So I know like sometimes if I'm making dinner for people, I'll like break out everything. Sometimes if I'm like microwaving leftovers, I'll just take my salad plate, put it mm -hmm. on there. Sometimes for breakfast, it's just like use a little plate. So you don't need to use a salad plate for salad. It's just kind of the different sizes. Yes, exactly. Okay. Whatever makes you comfortable. Yes, that's, that's the Connie way. That's why we love her. <laughs> Um, so maybe you can walk us through, I know that you kind of walked us through this more formal setting, mm -hmm. but something we both talked about is sort of these like newer sets, kind of new pieces on the tabletop market that a lot of people are gravitating towards. So what's an example of that? Well, I will tell you that all of the trade shows and markets that I go to, I keep hearing that the bowl is the new plate. Mm. So for example, Here's a great one. This is a really beautiful um, stoneware bowl that can be a pasta bowl. You can eat a big bowl of cereal out of it. You can even make a poke bowl out of it Ooh. or in here. So um, what we're seeing in dinnerware or in just the food movement in general is that a lot of people are going back into their homes, mm -hmm. cooking in their 
kitchen, experimenting with meals, kits, and learning how to cook. And this is just a really versatile piece that you can basically use as a plate or a bowl. I love this. So I have a rice maker, and now I'll like make some rice, put it in a bowl, add a few things, looks so much better. And then when my husband comes home, I'm like, look at this beautiful thing that I've made you, other than just like a pile of rice on a plate. Um, so it makes people think you're a way better cook than you actually are if you have the right dinnerware options. Definitely. So this is from a company called Casafina, and they have this incredible factory that they work with in Portugal. And Portugal is really known for their stoneware and their ceramics. So I don't know if you've ever been to Portugal. I have actually, and I did notice there's like tile and beautiful ceramics everywhere and Yes, it's their pride and joy. So they're really good at porcelain or at stoneware and, and in ceramics. So this is a really great um, dinnerware collection to get. And this, I don't know if you can see the detail from here, but it's got this beautiful crackle glaze. I love that. And the glaze sort of pulls around these um, pearls around the rim. And that just creates this kind of nice artisanal look. Yes, I personally love like more handmade. I love this stoneware from Portugal. So you were talking, you're saying this is stoneware, but there are lots of different materials. And I think oftentimes people, you know, you hear all the time like register for China, don't register for China. It really it's up to you. But I think there are way more materials than just like plastic or China. <laughs> and so why yes. don't you walk us through what those are and really like how they kind of perform in and out of the kitchen. Great question. So there is such a thing as plastic dinnerware. It's called melamine and it's great for outdoor use. It's probably going to be your lowest price point option. Um, but when it comes to more of the ceramic range of mm -hmm. dinnerware, you've got three main buckets. So there's earthenware, stoneware, and porcelain. Okay. And earthenware is very porous and um, it's one of the oldest types of ceramics that we see like in ancient like archaeological digs, you'll find a lot of earthenware ceramics. Um, terracotta mm -hmm. dinnerware, if you've ever seen that, it, that's earthenware. Um, and then there is stoneware, which is more of like this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Or this Casafina. Yes, exactly. And then you've got porcelain and bone china. So let me show you this beautiful collection. Because I think when people hear china, they immediately get intimidated and they think it's like only for the holidays or mm. something very, very formal, but that's not the case, right? Definitely not the case. The reason why bone china is so wonderful is because it's actually the strongest out of all of those types of earthenware and stoneware. Okay. So, um, you know, it's almost chip resistant. It's not that formal, but you can definitely have a formal bone china mm -hmm. where there's a lot of luxe gilded um, detail around it, but mm -hmm. this is an exclusive collection that we carry Ooh, called cheers. cheers to that for sure. <laughs> so this is one of our most popular scents on Zola, right? This is by Fortessa and it's yes. very simple, really versatile. The Fortessa Aria collection, it's bone china, it's super um, beautiful but also casual. You can use it every day and it's bone china, which is kind of crazy because you wouldn't normally think so. And the way that you know that something is high quality bone china is you can put it up against the light. Okay, wait, let me let me follow your lead. Okay, pull it up against the light. So put it up against the light, uh -huh. and if you can see through it. Oh, I see. That's right. It's a really I'm high doing quality. Two fingers. <laughs> Earlier Connie gave me one. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. <laughs> So back in the day, they used to make bone china out of actual